Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Budgets and Dreams. My name's Jen and I'm on a journey to pay off £27,000 worth of debt with a goal to pay off £10,000 in this year in 2022. It is so lovely to have you here with me today. Um, it is a very exciting day today as I get to announce a giveaway winner. Um, so last week I ran a little hush hush giveaway and I get to announce the winner. So before I announce the winner, I'm just going to remind myself that I must do the affirmation, uh, which I forgot the last time I did a giveaway announcement because I was too excited about the announcement. So let's do that first. As a reminder, you lovely people who entered um, are in for a chance of receiving Fuchsia Budgets Twist and Save Challenge and uh, that comes with the envelope, the tracker and the two dice and also the little wish bracelet um, about strength which has the little mini Edmund on there. Edmund is my big elephant if you are new to the channel and this is a lovely little elephant uh, for you to have and make your wish. So... I haven't had a chance to put all of your names into a wheel like I did last time. So what I've had to do this time is I've just quickly jotted your names down on a list and I will be employing the help of Google's random number generator to pick the lovely winner. So there's 21 of you and I have put in here um, minimum number of one, maximum number of 21 and we're going to generate a number. Oh, <laughs> And it's one, I think. Yeah. So the person who has one is number one, and that is Trace Jefferson. Um, so congratulations, Trace. That's super exciting. I was worried when I wrote your name down that you might not win because um, normally you'd expect there to be a number in the middle, but I suppose it is a random number generator. So what do I know? Congratulations, Trace. Um, I will get in contact with you and let you know how. Oh, let's put this in here let you know how uh, we can sort out getting this to you. So the twist and save challenge and the little um, uh, help uh, wish <laughs> bracelet uh, will be on its way to you soon, Trace. Congratulations. Right, with that very exciting piece done, normal business, let's have a look at the affirmation. So last week's affirmation was, my world is filled with wonderful things. And I challenged you all to go away and have a look for all of the wonderful things in your life. So I hope you had a chance to do that. So let's have a look at this week's affirmation. Oh, short but good. I am unique. I like that. I would agree with that. I think I have been told <laughs> that in not so uh, nice terms quite a few times in my life. Um, but yes, I see what this is saying. I am unique. It's all about embracing and celebrating your differences and what makes you, you. Uh, so I hope you get a chance to use that one this week. Superly duperly. Let's pop that there. So I am a wee bit stressed today. Um, so if I do kind of jump from one thing to the next to the next, that's why. Um, we are just about to depart for our little weekend away. I'm still yet to finish my day at work, which I started early so I could finish early. Um, but none of the work that I need to do today is going right. So I'm a bit stressed. And I was also meant to finish my last assignment for my university um, year. Uh, yesterday and I didn't quite get around to it. So I'm also stressed about that. Um, so maybe today's theme is stressed, but you know, a cheery stressed. So let's have a look at the stuff. So a few of you have said that you do really want to see what I've been up to and what I've been spending. So I will run through it for you lovely, beautiful people. Um, for those of you who aren't that interested, um, feel free to skip along. I don't mind, it's perfectly fine. So we had no no spends this week whatsoever, um, which is a real shame because we were doing really well and I completely missed an opportunity yesterday to have a no spend. I didn't need to spend one pound on chocolate and that would have been a no spend day, on payday nonetheless. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit bummed about that. I will try harder in the future. We did have a lot of spending going on, both budgeted and unbudgeted this week. So let's start from the beginning. So on Friday, I've included these in on Friday, it's the um, parking and my husband's emergency vape juice that I told you about last week. Um, I've put it into Friday because although he made those purchases on Thursday, it didn't go out of the bank until Friday. Um, 
I wasn't too sure where to put it. I put it on Friday. Um, then we had some normal sort of top up groceries and petrol spending. Um, and then also on Friday, I had to go for an emergency appointment at the hospital. Nothing to worry about. Everything was perfectly fine. Um, but um, my stress trigger and my emotional trigger normally results in me eating um, and I haven't broken that habit yet so I spent some unbudgeted money on a coffee and some lunch uh, which was cool it was really good and I really enjoyed it and I needed it and it made me feel better so I don't feel bad about that and also the hospital parking uh, was £2.20 as well so it's a bit of a shame we had more unbudgeted spends all of the blue is unbudgeted and we've had quite a lot of those this month maybe because I didn't set my goal of having no unbudgeted spends um, so that's something that I need to do in June. Um, on Saturday, we had a more fun spend. We went and we bought the ant, uh, not ant farm, worm farm for my son's friend's birthday present. I thought that that was £10. When we got there, it was £17, um, which is way more than I'd like to spend on um, a birthday present um, for one of my son's friends. Not because I'm cheap or anything it's just it's a lot of money so anyway so 17 pounds it was plus a one pound 50 for a birthday card but it was really well received he absolutely loved it and i can't wait to see it all set up i'm so excited for him for that um then on sunday we had some top-up shop um monday again more top-up shop we seem to do top-up shop like every day i'm pretty sure i'm not that bad at doing the grocery shopping um because I've got my budget over my expense trackers in my book, um, I have actually stopped writing down and tracking every expense. So I think that's something that might need to change. And then I might be able to look at what it is we're buying every single day on top up and make some changes. There's something for the future. Um, so yeah, Monday, groceries and top up. I bought myself and my son some little snackettes. That was fun. Um, and uh, my son needed a haircut urgently. <laughs> His hair got really, really, really long and he was having school photos taken on the Wednesday. So we had an emergency haircut on the Monday, but it was great. They went to a new barber's and they came back with a free lollipop and a free carton of Ribena, which happens to be my favorite drink. So uh, that was good. Um, and then more snacks on Tuesday. It's been a stressful week. I've been snacking a lot. Um, so yeah, more snacks on Tuesday for me out of my out and about money. Uh, quiz on Wednesday. That was good fun. Uh, we uh, did not come anywhere near winning. I've never mentioned before, actually, we are not serious quizzes. We go to the quiz because it is a regular um, excuse to hang out. So we are four mums um, and we have um, kids and families with various different challenges and committing to going to the quiz every single Wednesday, although, you know, illnesses and what have you aside, um, committing to going to the quiz every Wednesday just gives us that chance to just breathe and eat some pudding if we're all feeling a bit flush. Um, so yeah, we're not serious quizzes. We sometimes do well. We mostly do bad. We win the wooden spoon prizes like best team name uh, that's been a winner of ours for a long time. We change it every single week and we are all quite witty people, as you can imagine. Uh, so we, yeah, that's a good one for us. And what else do we win sometimes? Uh, the tiebreaker question, but I won't go into that. That's just really boring. Shush, Jenny. So quiz, I spent some money. I had some crisps and I had a drink and it was lush. And then gifts wasn't actually a gift spend. I wasn't sure where to put this on Wednesday. We actually ran out of coffee and we had also run out of money. Uh, so we, it's essentially a top up shop, but we had to take the money from gifts because we had no other money. So um, I'm not sure whether that should be unbudgeted or it's budgeted because the money was there. It's just not budgeted for that. Um, your input on that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. And then, yes, of course, yesterday I spent that one pound on some chocolate. What did I even have? Oh, I had a twirl. Yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. So that was it for the spending. So let's have a look at how we did with last week's budget. So last week's budget, we have some red. Everything was pretty much on track other than those few unbudgeted spends. Um, so our starting balance expected and actual was the same. My salary expected and actual was the same. So our total income was the same. Bills, uh, as expected, and the extra debt payment, that was the one that we made to my husband's next 
account last week, but it didn't clear till this week. So that's what that is. That uh, was fine. And then in our other expenses, we had the £22, which was the purchases last week of my husband's parking and emergency vape. And then we had on top of that this week, £6.40 for my hospital lunch and £2.20 for hospital parking and £10 for my son's hair. But when I've done the maths, this these numbers here, 6, 42, 20 and 10, don't add up to 1869, which is what I was over. So I've written something down wrong there, but I'm not fussed. It's what the bank says, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, so we came in over budget by 18 pounds and 69 pence. Not too bad. So this week's budget, we have got no income this week. We are just rolling over 1,649 pounds and 75 pence. Um, from last week. So that is our income. It's the big bill week this week. So we've got um, nearly £1,200 coming out in our bills. And it's the big minimum debt payment week this week. Uh, we've got the big loan payment and one of the credit cards coming out. Um, my son's spending needs an extra £20. As I was saying before, he's actually decided to do all of his chores now. So I actually have to pay him money. Uh, so I have to find the money. So I need to add an extra £20 into his Go Henry so I can pay him for all of his hard work this week. And I am getting £32.50 into my bank account. Um, and that is essentially, it should be money that's going into the celebrations envelope towards the Hindu that I've got coming up in the summer. Um, that's the deposit for a couple of things that are planned. So I have just put that into the bank and then sent that straight on to the lovely lady who's organizing everything. So that went in my bank and straight out again. So our total bank expenses were 1,700, were, will be 1,765 pounds and 80 pence for the week. Um, then we're going to be stuffing £120 into Hyperjar and just a lowly 50 in cash this week. Um, we are on the last week of our four week cycle that we do our budget. So it's got a little tight, um, but we'll be better from next week. Oh, kind of. Oh, I'm not sure next week's looking much better. Give it a few weeks and we might be a bit flush again. Um, in good news, though, um, I switched my bank account this week there was uh, the, the bank that I've switched to had a um, switch incentive which was £100 for new customers and £125 for um, existing customers so I got £125 for switching my bank account that went into my bank uh, this is all tracking our joint bank account. So that 125 went into my bank account and I paid that immediately onto my next account. So my next account is now down by £125, which is awesome. So uh, that's very exciting. And also the good news about the new bank is that it is not in the centre of town. I don't need to pay for parking. I don't need to worry about there being millions of people. I uh, can just actually go to the bank now, which is super exciting. It's in a really quiet place. It's got parking right out front. It's a really quiet branch. Um, it's right next to where I work. I mean, right next to where I work. Um, and yeah, oh, my life is going to be so much easier now. I don't have to go and get cash back. So what I've been doing every week, if I want fivers and tenors, is I've been having to go to our local co-op and buying something out of the top-up shop, um, buying something that I then take the money out of top-up shop. It's a bit confusing. So I go to the bank, go to the bank, I go to the co-op with my bank debit card, joint bank debit card, buy a thing, get cash back because I need fivers and tenors. Then I do the stuffing with you, top up all the money into top-up shop, and then after the video, transfer whatever I spent in the shop to get cash back, back into the bank. <laughs> been very stressful. <laughs> now I don't need to do that. I can just go to the bank and say, I would like one million five pound notes, please. Um, although I don't think I'll ever be rich enough to do that. I wonder what one million five pound notes looks like or how heavy that would be. It would be really lovely, wouldn't it? If you could just get a case of money like they do in the movies, like a briefcase, one million pounds, maybe not in fivers though. It'd be quite a big suitcase. Um, I think I'm going to leave that there. So let's get on to some stuffing, shall we? We will start with Hyperjar. 
So here we are in Hyperjar. Um, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, I have put £120 into Hyperjar for our um, easy access shared expenses. Um, first things first, we do have 46p left in Top Up Shop. So let's move that over to Anniversary. So we're going to add from Top Up Shop 46p and that takes us up to... £29.75. Oh, we're nearly close to £30. Oh, that's so exciting. And we've still got a couple of months to go. We've got June, July and a bit of August to still save up a bit more. You know, we might be looking at dinner. Oh, fingers crossed, everybody. Oh, that's very exciting. Cool. OK, so we've done that bit. So let's move some money around. So as we're going away this weekend, we don't need a full grocery shop. I've already put the stuff in the basket. I think I know how much it's going to cost. Um, so I'm just going to put £55 into groceries this week. And hopefully that will do us right. I'm not sure we even need that much, actually. <clears throat> anyway, it's there. If we've got anything left, <laughs> it's un unlikely. But if we do, um, then it will go into anniversary, which is awesome. So we're going to put £30 into petrol. That should actually give us a full tank um, ready for our excursion, um, which is awesome. Um, we won't have to fork out any additional money for petrol. Fingers crossed. Next week I'll be saying, oh my gosh, we spent £1,000 on fuel. Um, I would be really sad if that was the case. Uh, right, top up shop, 15, uh, 15 pounds, just a little 15. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. This was mostly out of necessity, really, rather than any actual planned spending. We're just really, really low on cash this week. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Sorry. So um, with the budget, we should be coming in at minus 286 pounds. Um, so we've got about 14 pounds ish above our target of coming in only £300 into our overdraft. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, whoops, I'll remember to do that next time. Uh, where do we get to? Top up shop. Right, gifts, 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 gifts. It's getting another £10. We have a, another little baby family member who needs a gift for next weekend. So gifts is getting another £10. It's 11 56 in there. And family fun normally gets 20 but I'm just adding in 10 um, mostly just because I wanted to put something in there. Um, we may or may not be using the family fund money whilst we're on our little weekend away. Uh, we do have, so a few weeks ago, I unstuffed from my cash binders our holiday budget, which is £450. 330 of that, I think, or three, even 350 is for the hotel. So we've only got £100 to last us the weekend for food, drinks, snacks, toys. Um, not sure I quite budgeted that quite well um so we might use the family fund money but I would rather not I want to keep this for specific weekend activities really um yeah so that's actually hyperjar um quick update for you medical still has 100 none of us have needed anything medically which is <laughs> really good news um and um Italy Italy is one to talk about so my sister put another bit of change in there this week so we're now at nine pounds 51 in Italy from zero to a tenner, just like that. Um, amazing, I'm so excited about that. Uh, yeah. Right, okay, cool, let's move on and stuff some cash. First things first, my beautiful people, let's put some pennies into flossy. So, <laughs> I've been watching uh, The Purse Whisperer uh, lately. I'll link her channel in the description. She's awesome, I love her to pieces. Um, and she calls her change smash and it has really stuck with me um so if i start calling this smash um you know why uh it's for because of the purse whisperer it has just stuck in my head so we have got uh to put into flossy today two pounds and 41 pence and i've already sussed out what color that is it is orange so we are just going to do that one so again nice quick and easy one for flory Flory, that was my mum's old dog, Flossy, um, this week, which is fine. So let's move away from Flossy and our little bit of change, our smash, if you like, and move on to stuffing some cashew. So we don't have much, as I said, we only have £50, but every penny makes a difference. So first of all, birthday. 
So birthday currently has 50, 100, 150, 170. It's getting a tenner, so that will take it up to 180. 150, 70, 80, 180 into birthday. Why do I feel like I've forgotten something? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, car is not getting anything. Christmas is not getting anything again. We just started stuffing it again and now we can't, which is sad. O Clothes is getting five pounds. Uh, so that now has 10 pounds. This is more of a priority than Christmas because obviously he's going to be going into a new school year in the summer and Christmas is not until the winter. Oh, there was a fly. Sorry about that. Oh, I hate flies. They make me feel sick. Um, right. O Clubs is getting a fiver. Currently has five. Now it has ten. So O Clubs has ten. O Trip is getting its usual ten. So it has 20, 40, 60. Now it has 70. So that is fab all progress. So... That is it for our joint um, bits and pieces. Oh, no, it's not. So I get to take off two more of these um, treasure chests. So this tracker here is the Reach 10K tracker that I have made for myself to keep track and make sure that we're going to reach that 10K that we want to pay off of our debt this year. So I calculated um, a few weeks ago how much uh, we've got left on our debt, I minused how much we'd be pay paying off um, on our minimum payments in our snowball and then worked out that we would have an extra 1500 that we would need to pay off to reach that 10k. So these treasure chests are £50 each and they add up to £1500. So we have ticked off £200 already this month which is just unreal that's a hundred pounds that we had uh, planned to put in as a as a bonus extra debt payment anyway and then another hundred pounds from there was a little bit from Atapol and then there was a little bit from somewhere else where was that from does anybody remember oh council tax the council tax rebate so now I get to take off two more because I had that £125 switch incentive for my new bank, which went straight into my next account. What I'm doing on the back of this is I'm keeping track of the little bits. So um, the £100 that we ticked off last time, which was the 30 and the £86.10, ticked off the two that made the 100 and it left over £16.10. And then also today I've ticked off the two, which makes 100, but that leaves the 25 that we've also put in as well. So I'm just keeping track of that. So when this total gets to 50, then I can tick off another one as well. I toyed with the idea of not doing this and just leaving it as like a little bit of a bonus thing. Um, but that would be really sad if I think I'm not going to reach it. And then, well, I don't know. I've just decided to do it this way. It's just the way it's going to be. So that's that. Freedom is the envelope um, that would go alongside this should we get any cash to put towards our debt. Um, savings, uh, there's nothing going on in there. That's just our help to buy savings tracker, but we've already updated that for the month. So on to my spending. So celebration technically got £32.50 today, but it was a bank to bank uh, situation. So nothing in there. That does mean that, unfortunately, oh, sorry, clothes isn't getting anything, won't be getting anything for a while. Going out, I normally like to put £5 in here a week, uh, but I can't afford to do that this week because of the whole £32.50 thing. Um, I was going to fully fund her this week, but I cannot, but that's fine. I'm not bothered. I will get that done next week, just in time for the hair appointment. It is getting 10 though, so hair now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 150. So we need another 30 pounds and I need to do that next week um, because I've got my hair appointment. Uh, either that weekend or the weekend after, can't remember which. Anyway, so that's hair. Nothing in retreat, which is a shame, but that is fine. And then savings is getting no love either. So that leaves us with my £10 out and about money as usual. And I would like to leave the video with just a couple of things. One, congratulations again, Trace. I will be in contact with you and let you know how I will get the 
uh, giveaway prize to you. So thank you so much for entering that. Thank you so much, everybody, for all of your comments last week. It made my day. Um, I also want to mention a new uh, YouTube channel that I've been watching this week, Budget Me Right. I will leave the description, um, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, she's lovely. Um, she's a lovely Greek lady who's very calm and um, I just really, really enjoyed her channel and she's new. I think when I checked last time, I think she had 26 subscribers maybe. So go check her out. Give her a bit of love and support if you would like to. I'll leave her um, link in the description and also I'll leave a link to the Purse Whisperer in there as well. Uh, and so that's it for today. So the uh, card uh, affirmation card today is I am unique and the idea here is to celebrate that uniqueness and it is what makes you you and you are beautiful so thank you very much everybody please do the liking subscribing comments I'd love to have your comments um, and I will see you in the next one bye bye